Hello there, everybody. Just a quick update before we get started about the Reiki Apprenticeship Program. We are at 66% paid. I am very excited about that. That's a landmark for me. Um, I've been looking forward to being 66% paid for a long time. Now we just have one last push to go, and then it'll be all knocked out. Won't that be fabulous? I can quit doing these updates and taking time away from readings. <laughs> All right, everybody, on to your readings. Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. What we have coming up for you on Monday, Libra, is the Ten of Cups card showing up in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse talks about really stepping backwards with a situation that was making you happy. So this can be um, maybe that you're um, getting some more distance in a relationship that you didn't think you would be wanting to get any distance in. This can also be something happens with a project or a hobby that you've been working on that you were really enjoying that now it's just not so much fun anymore. Anything where um, you were really happy with something and now your emotions are kind of going the other direction. To me, that's what a Ten of Cups in Reverse talks about. The next thing that we have coming up on Tuesday for you, Libras, is we do have the Judgment card. Now, the Judgment card does talk about new beginnings, but it talks about well-thought-out new beginnings. Um, this can even be a new phase of something that you've been, that has been in your life already. So, but it's really thinking things through as you enter this new phase, taking your time with it, not rushing into it, but really thinking things through on the way. On Wednesday, what we have is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for you. Oh, well, for some of you, I am feeling a little bit of uh, a nausea coming in on Wednesday, just not feeling so hot in the stomach. For some of you, I think, and of course this isn't going to apply to all of you, it's very gender specific for one thing, but for some of you, I think you're going to start experiencing uh, morning, symptom, morning sickness type symptoms where you start to feel nauseous um, because of your pregnancy. So... You know, like I said, obviously that's not going to apply to everyone, but <laughs> for at least one or two people out there, <laughs> because that actually came through really strongly. So somebody just needed to be kind of aware, heads up, that that may be something coming on the down the way for you. Um, looking at Thursday, what we have here is the world in reverse. To me, the world in reverse is talking about some kind of goal or manifestation, something that you've been wanting to target, um, that you've been wanting to bring into your life. And when I have this card coming up in reverse, this says that that manifestation or that target or that goal is still attainable. It's still on its way in. However, um, there's some kind of delay or you want to be a little careful that you might not be getting, you might not be totally on track for that on Thursday. So where you may have been really focused and doing all the things you need to do to bring that in on Thursday, it looks like there's some kind of delay. Uh, for some of you, there's a lack of focus. You're kind of slacking off of your efforts there, and so that's slowing things down. So that's what's coming up for Thursday. Then Friday, Libra, Seven of Swords. Hmm, still kind of feeling before I start talking about this card. I feel It feels like there's some kind of way of picking up the pieces here. And this can come in, this can be as simple as, you know what, uh, we had a dinner party at our house last night and I was so tired afterwards I didn't clean up. So now I'm cleaning up. Or it could be picking up the pieces, cleaning up immediately after the dinner party. Um... But, uh, you know, so this is Friday's card. It is somehow picking up the pieces. And I've also seen this card come up before for relationships, too, where, you know, maybe there's been an argument or a disagreement and things got heated and things were said that normally the two of you wouldn't say to each other. This can be kind of coming together after that and picking up the pieces after something like that, too, kind of seeing 
what's salvageable on this relationship? Can we make it go forward now or are we at a standstill where we just aren't on the same page and we have to acknowledge that? So to me, this is picking up the pieces. This would be moving forward with the relationship and it would, it kind of indicates that it's not the easiest thing to take those first steps forward if this is a relationship type situation for you. So that can come in in a very physical manifestation of picking up the pieces or it could be something that's emotional. Now the other way that's coming in for you guys, Libra, for some of you this is going to be um, more personal than that. It's going to be all about you. <laughs> for some of you this is really talking about doing some healing after some kind of trauma. You know, maybe somebody passed away that was very close to you, it was unexpected, and you're healing up, you know, you're starting to do some healing work on that. You're starting to pick up the pieces and, and get on with your life. Uh, for others of you, this could just be um, a different kind of situation. This could be something that just floored you as it happened, not around anybody's death, but just something that came up that was was a big deal for you that was traumatic for you and so you may be doing some inner healing around whatever that might have been okay so either way I do see this as a recovery whether it's a personal recovery recovery of a relationship you know whether it's recovery of the house back to normalcy whatever it is there's some kind of recovery going on here for you on Friday on Saturday, Saturday we do have the star card showing up in reverse. The star card in reverse is, to me, it talks about feeling a little bit out of it, so to speak. So feeling like, you know, um, like you're not so in touch with the physical reality around you. Like you're not so in touch with the um, spiritual guidance that you normally would be. It's a little bit of a free-floating type feeling. Um, you know, I use this example all the time, so some of you who have been following me have probably heard it who knows how many times before, but really, when I see, see the star card, the first thing I think about is whenever I used to take cold medicine, I, was, I always felt like reality was like two inches away from my fingertips, no matter how far out I put my arms. So... That's kind of what it feels like. It just feels like you're just not quite in touch. Looking at Sunday, Libra, the Justice card. Whoops. This is basically your card. <laughs> this is you at your finest. You've got your groove going, making sure that everything around you is fair and right. <laughs> Holding everybody to those standards of keeping things fair and right around you. For a lot of you parents, this is kind of an everyday thing if you have more than one child. Um, but Sunday, this is going to be a more dominant uh, feature or part of your life. Keeping things fair and even all around you. Okay, For some of you, this is actually going shopping for gifts or for something and you're trying to keep everything fair. You're trying very hard not to play favorites just because you're finding cooler gifts for one uh, child of one age group or one gender or something and, and you're having a hard time finding as cool a gifts for somebody who's in a different gender or age group. You know, So trying to keep everything fair and even in some way or other <laughs> is the bottom line there, Libras. So, thank you so much, Libras. That is your week. Thank you for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for readings, some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, and the rest of you I will see on the next video. Everyone, have a wonderful week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before. Completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have 
been taking Reiki training and I've gotten level one and I've gotten level two and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program. And so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no donation donation is too small so there's the corrected version of that um, and actually I was looking with I have over 7,000 subscribers if every subscriber donated a dollar I would be able to end this um, request but so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you see how you're feeling that type of thing um, anybody who donates anything more than $50 what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars so say you donate $50 then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly, otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. 
and um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.